Hey guys, it's me, King Boxing Nerd KBN, with another video. Salute, shout out, Peace Street Controversy, Carcino for Life, KOD Testimonies, where you at? Travis got it. Yep, it's Saturday here in hell. <laughs> Arizona. It's like 150 degrees right now. Uh, some boxing tonight. Showtime going down. Don't forget. They're gonna show the replay of uh, Tank Davis versus Mario Barrios fight. From plus uh, Chris Colbert versus Numbayampar. It's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be good. Uh, Yep, let the 4th of July start out with a bang in boxing. And, uh, yep. Last uh, video I did, the Al Heyman video, I don't know if you guys saw my face was dripping. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> it was hot. The chiller in my truck uh, wasn't working, it wasn't cooling. And, uh, looks like it, looks like I got it fixed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, it's better than it was, <laughs> but what can you expect? I mean, it's it's a Dodge, right? <laughs> 100,000 miles and it uh, starts breaking apart, falling <laughs> starts breaking apart. Uh, that's that's about the time where your warranty expires. So <laughs> don't don't buy American cars. Uh, <laughs> Toyota's the heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> oh my God, guys. I, I can tell you so much about all the repairs that I've done on this truck. It's a 2010 117K, and uh, man, and I'm the kind of guy that doesn't drive crazy, doesn't step on it, uh, treats the car well, gives it its regular maintenance, and or whatever it needs, but, you know, redoing the motor, the camshaft, uh, replacing the computer, changing the evaporator, dismantling the dash to change the evaporator, you know, with the AC, right, the issues, um, picking the transmission so it wouldn't have that classic rattling noise when you shift gears on the Dodge truck, which is normal, they say, at the dealer. Um, so many, so many uh, repairs, you know, over the rear axle pinion nut, if not the axle would fall up, uh, come apart. I mean, it's ridiculous, so it's a 2010 117K, like I'm saying, and I put, I put in so much uh, on it, and my dad has a 2008 uh, Tundra, Toyota Tundra, and just regular maintenance, that's it. So, yep. If somebody's out there planning to get a Dodge truck, stay away. Uh, Chevy is not as great too. I've had Chevy and uh, nothing but electric, electrical problems. And I've had a Ford and it's a gas guzzler and uh, they, have, they have a lot of issues with their fuel pump. That always goes out. So uh, yeah, my Dodge Ram. <laughs> Toyota is definitely uh, the, the world champion when it comes to, uh, to cars in general, you know? And I'm not making a commercial for Toyota by any who, by any means. I'm just uh, stating the facts. You know, they have a track record of pure quality. I, I think, I think, I think the problem with American cars, yeah, maybe the parts are cheap on some cars. Because obviously you know GMC is, is good, but even GMC, I mean, my my boss's truck is in the shop because the AC is not working, and that car's not even two years old. So I don't know. I, is it is is the problem in the maybe? Uh, I think the problem could be in the assembly line when they're putting it together. That that could be where it all starts. But Toyota is the best. I've seen it, I have friends that have Toyotas, and uh, they don't spend time at the shop like I do. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think. This was King Boxing Nerd with another video. 
I'm planning to get a Toyota Tundra. Lizard green. Reptilian color. <laughs> truck so nice that Beyonce would look and shape shift. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Bye.